Whiskey, Jason here, Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskies. Today I have something really interesting for you, Amrut, that's the Indian single malt whiskey distiller. They actually got their hands on an X Caroni rum cask. Ooh. Now I was not aware what Caroni doesn't mean a thing to me. Um, but some of my fans um, to support me with Patreon, they said, Jason, buy, buy, buy. And so I bought a bottle. Now, this is 144 euros and 90 cents. That's about $160 around about. Now, that's a lot of money for a whiskey that is basically six years old. So this was distilled in August of 2014. It was bottled in August of 2020. Uh, it was cast number 5145. It's 60% alcohol by volume ABV. And it's whiskey base number 177276. Now there's a total of 156 bottles of the... Uh, that's it, worldwide. And this was imported from India over here to Europe by La Maison de Whisky. And it was actually then bottled exclusively for Kirsch Import, which is my um, favorite importer here in Germany at the moment, which I work with a little bit. So, um, Caroni. So you can see it here. Um, it's very big, yeah? Eggs Caroni. For those rum fans out there, they know that's maybe one of the high, the holy grail of rums. Um, they actually, um, it's a still, it's a, uh, um, the, the factory has actually been um, decommissioned. Um, 2002, by the way. Caroni is the name of a river in um, Trinidad, which is in the Caribbean. It flows east to west. It's about 20 miles long, roundabout. And they actually um, made some interesting rum there. And so they actually um, closed the distillery, boarded up then the distillery house, and someone came by from La Maison de Whisky and said, hey, I'll buy everything. And now they've been releasing from some very old rum that has become legendary. So somehow one of those casks, um, a bourbon cask is basically just a bourbon cask. I'm sorry, rum cask is just basically a bourbon cask that has been filled with rum. So you use it once in the bourbon, you use it a couple times in the rum, and then you take that rum cask and you take it over to India. So it's about 200 liters. Um, when you do the math, you can get about 285 bottles out of a, uh, out of a bourbon barrel at cask strength at the very beginning. Unfortunately, after the angels come in, and Greedy Angels, the name of another bottle from um, Amrut, um, and they take all this um, spirit away, you're left with 156 bottles. So it's like 40% um, angel share loss in those six years. That's a lot. That's a lot. So in, um, in Kentucky, you have the first year, which is about 7% goes in the wood, and then 3% to 4 to 6% every, every, every year after that. So good. Um, I still can't get over a 144 euro price tag. That's just way too much for me. But hey, Amrut is going up and up in price. Um, the triple distilled um, Tripava was um, 130 euros. And the thing I still have to try, which will be their peated port pipe, also exclusively for Europe here, is 179 euros. Amazing, amazing. But it was um, distilled 2013. Um, and so it's one of the oldest um, that we have on the market. So what am I going to do? I'm going to... <laughs> I thought about, okay, give me something um, that you know of, Jason, that has a rum cask. Um, and I thought of an Irish whiskey. It's 20 years old. It's 179 euros. So I have over 300 euros on these two bottles alone on the table. Um, so luckily, I did a bottle share. This is all gone. This is also all gone. So um, this will be filled up in little sample um, and then distributed all over Germany. So this is 52.6%. Um, this is 60%. Right, I was very, very afraid of this whiskey the first time I tried it. 60% ABV is a little bit much. But when you nose it, it does. Ooh, nice. Now, I have a lot of respect um, um, for rum. The rum would be a, a rabbit hole I could go down and not come out for another couple of years. 
I went down the whiskey um, rabbit hole about five years ago, and I'm just starting to come out where I was like, oh, I understand what I'm doing now. Oh, I understand the process. I understand the different regions. I understand the different whiskeys. I understand the grain. I understand a lot of things that are going on in the whiskey at the moment. But rum, nothing. Yes, I do know sugar, and I do molasses and sugar cane and so on, but other than that, hardly anything. And I like rum sometimes. And it's just, a, ooh, this could be dangerous. I just don't have the liver or the time or the life or the money to also become a rum expert. So I'm going to stick with whiskey for the moment. Uh, could you imagine rum, Jason? Just doesn't sound good. Whiskey, Jason, I like. Rum, Jason, eh. All right. Now, it's the question of do you want whiskey with your rum or do you want rum with your whiskey? And I almost have the, the thing here that you have the base is the rum. It's very, very sweet. It's very, very luring. It's luring me into its den. It's luring me in, into this area of temptation where it's like, come, Jason, try me. Over here, there's a little bit more of a sharpness of the alcohol. This is double distilled. This is double distilled. This is 20 years old. This is six years old. Now, if you take the one of the rules that they say, things in India mature about three times quicker than they do in uh, Scotland or Ireland. So this could be actually comparable to an 18-year-old whiskey. So maybe it's actually a bargain, no, for 144 versus 179 euros for the 20-year-old. Both of these are single casks, by the way. All right, let's try this 60% and watch what happens when I drink my 60%. Some of you know I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I'm a I'm wuss when it comes to high, per, high, high proof of whiskeys. Mmm. Mmm. Nice. Wow. I'm in a safe place. This is a cuddly, cushioned, warm, cozy, safe place. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> um, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting hot. I was expecting overwhelming moments of heat and ginger and pepper and so on. Yes, there's a little bit of alcohol, but it's 60% people, and it tastes just so good. It's got a nice, long, sweet, but not overly sweet finish. This is right up my wheelhouse. I would never have said that. I did not. This is okay. I'm, I don't hate this whiskey. This is okay whiskey, um, but I was not. Mm, it gets better, actually, with it. It's got a great finish. That rum... Um, it's it's an oiliness, it's a coatedness, it's a sweetness just comes through. Wow. All right. It says here, this exclusive bottling of Amrud Ingle, uh, Ingle, Indian single malt whiskey offers the connoisseur the rare opportunity to sample this treasure of India. It's non-chilled filtered and um, comes bottled in a um, natural color at a high proof. 60% is not cast proof or um, barrel proof or whatever uh, cast strength. It's just what they decided to do it at. Wow. Now, I like, I like, I, this is a B whiskey. This is almost a B plus whiskey, all right? Um, I really like this. And yet the entire time it's like, is this worth 150, 145 euros? <sighs> almost. <laughs> almost. Um, and that's my problem, man. I'm going to give this whiskey a D as a value for money. I should give it an F, I know, but it's not, it's, it, it's luring me in. It's taking me to a safe place. It's actually massaging my scalp and just my, my, my taste buds and saying, don't you feel good here? And it's like, yes, I do. I don't want to leave. This is such a great, great moment here. And for that, if you had the money and if you had the opportunity to buy one of these 156 bottles worldwide, only for Germany, by the way, mm -hmm, I would definitely um, say, why not? There are people out there, 150 euros, uh, peanuts. Other people was like, oh, that's my entire disposable income for the month. No. <laughs> or for the quarter, or for the year. Who knows where you're at in your point of life? 
Um, I luckily have the possibility to share these bottles, and so I, I'm, I'm only paying for like a third, a fourteenth of that, and that's mine, and I can enjoy this, and I really, really do, and that's why I'm giving it a D for value for money. A, why haven't you bought it? B, buy it from the taste. Buy it. C, you can buy it if you want to. D, you don't need to buy it. F, why was it even made? So only if you're looking for something very exclusive and you love a good rum. Go for this bottle, find it, search it. Um, it's very, it's still in some shops here in Germany. Um, not many people have actually bought a bottle. Not many people have actually tried this because I think the price is just a little prohibitive. Prohibitive. Wow. All right, over here, my um, Hotel Essenhof. Um, this is the historic series um, number 14 from the Astra Theater Collection of Single Malt Irish Whiskey. Not a bad whiskey at all. It's just overpriced. 179 euros, I just think, is wow. And sometimes it's a little bit too much of a whiskey, too much of a rum moment here with my whiskey. This is darker. This is lighter. This is sweeter. This has a little bit more of a woody moment. Yeah, the wood, the old 20-year-old wood kicks in here a little bit too much for me. Comparative to this. Mm -hmm. Basically, he said everything I wanted to. The rum, it's a different type of rum. Um, it's a darker rum. It's a uh, more molassy, molasses type of rum. And this actually has more of the, I don't know, it has more of the sugar cane moment for me. All right, so um, I'm going to give this, as I said, a, a B, even up into a B plus. My value for money is a D. Question of the day is um, twofold. First of all, um, what is your favorite rum whiskey, um, either rum finished or rum um, uh, immatured? And second of all, since the uh, Caroni is a um, is a silent distillery of um, rum, my question is, what is your favorite silent distillery? Silent distillery means a closed distillery. All right, so there are quite a few closed distilleries out there. Um, what do you like? What do you, um, what could you say? For example, I've had a few Rosebanks in my life. Mm, I'm not a great big fan of Rosebank, Rosebank at the moment, especially if you're looking at the price. And there, I've also had a Banff, B-A-N-F-F, -F, one of the unluckiest distilleries in the world. I think it burned down like four times. Banff is one of those places it's just like, uh oh, it's been hexed. So I'm going to finish this whiskey, this video with um, one last sip from this whiskey. Um, cleanse, the, cleanse the palate real quick. And I'm going to say to your health, may you remain healthy also during this dumb crisis that continues on. May you be vaccinated or you may remain safe without your vaccination, whatever your plan is for your life. And I wish you all the best for the future. Please like, subscribe, um, tell others, and also share this video if you're so kind. Yeah, 156 bottles for Germany. <laughs> Probably never going to see this bottle. Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of, of a person who um, reviews rare and exotic whiskeys over here in Germany. Hope you liked it. This is also a single cask. Hope you liked it. Hmm. Mm. I sure did. Very, very nice. Thank you. Bye-bye.